Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I have mixed my own paint for a flip cup, I'm hoping. Uh, one of the, I have four colors in here. Two of these are pre-poured and I wasn't gonna record this and then I decided to go ahead and do it just in case it works out. But I am using these two uh, ready to pour from Art Artist Loft to Turquoise and a Metallic Silver. And then my Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple I mixed with Floetrol, Liquitex Gloss Medium, and some water. And then my Liquitex Acrylic Base, uh, Basic Acrylics Light Blue Violet I mixed with Glue All and some water. And I kind of based the rate, the consistency of this blue for my other two, so let's hope this works out. <laughs> and I just did a dirty pour, I just a straight pour, a dirty pour, I don't know, I poured it just right into the center of the cup. I didn't layer it and tilt the cup. But anyway, so let's go ahead and see how this works. Woo, look at those cells. It's probably way too much paint as well. Wow, so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, sh you can see the inside of the cup. Can't really see it all that well. Eh, nope. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> Lots of air bubbles because I just mixed them. So let me see if I can pop some of those out before I tilt. I'm not a very good tilter, so let's see how that works out for me. <laughs> this canvas is an 8x8. I have it sitting on a rack that came out of a little mini fridge. I have down here on my table my new silicone mat by Low. Loli Veffy. Yes, I believe that is how you pronounce that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and I'm sure I have entirely too much paint as I was just trying to figure out the consistency um, of a pouring regular pour because I do I do Dutch pours and trying to do blooms but uh, those blooms are gonna get the best of me and I think I have entirely too much of that or my paints aren't the same consistency <laughs> uh, yeah the colors are beautiful but uh, I'm not a good tilter at all. However, I was saying that I got these mat, this mat from Loli Veffy, and I love how that any paint that you spill on this you can peel right off. It's quite awesome. And you know, <laughs> for being my first time mixing my own paint and actually using it, it's not so bad, but definitely not the same consistencies. Either that or the glue all doesn't work well with the flow troll, I don't know, but <laughs> it is not the same consistency. So at least that's what I think. And it's just all pretty much washed in here too. Hmm. All right, so here it is, and it looks pretty washed out to me. I mean, I personally think it's not right. <laughs> I do like the silver in it, and you can't really see the silver. I mean, it's cool right in there what it's doing. Right in there, I got cells. 
But I think it's just the consistency. I mean, we tried following recipes. You know, one ounce of Floetrol to half an ounce of Liquitex Basics paint to half an ounce of glossy pouring me Liquitex pouring medium. And that was too thick. I mean, so I just don't get it. I don't understand. What is it that I'm doing wrong here? I'd really like to be able to pour my own paint to do ring pours and such. <laughs> so, I've also tried the, like, you know, 70 glue, 30% water. I don't know. Maybe I just don't. Maybe since I'm just used to blooms <laughs> and the paint being so much thicker, maybe that's what my issue is. I don't know. Dutch pours are very thin, but I follow Canela's, Sirocco's recipe. And so I just squeeze it into a bottle, basically, and I don't make the consistency of it. I just follow what she says, and it works for me. <laughs> I don't know how that one works for me, but this is not. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, I've rambled on enough, so hopefully you've enjoyed my little half flop a cup of paint here. <laughs> not quite sure what else to call this, but look at these. Although they're too big. I'm not going to keep it that, but this mat is awesome. I love it. I did a pour last night, which didn't turn out either, but... The paint that I peeled off of it was really pretty awesome. All right, then. Thank you again, and take care. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now. All right, so I wanted to show you the dried results from this painting. It's not quite dried yet. It's still a little bit. As you can see how it has cracked on me. Because it's still, I can't get the right consistency. I don't get it. So if you have any tips for me on how to get the correct consistency to do a ring pour or an open cup pour or a simple <laughs> pour, <laughs> uh, that would be great if you would leave it in my comments for me. I would appreciate it. And until my next video, take care and I will see you then.